writing especially poetry has been for me a source of sustenance you can just freeze your emotion or thought for that particular moment in a few words so yes i have found a lot of strength and uh, solace from poetry Kolkata is mother. Kolkata is home. Kolkata is the peace that fills me up each time my dad keeps his hand over my head. If the world outside Kolkata is uh, a playground where I have to go out and test my abilities and play, then Kolkata is the home at dusk that I must return to. to recharge my worn out spirits to get rejuvenated so that i can go out in the wild world again and take it by its horns मागो तुम जन्म होलकाय उन्नीसशो ऊनाशी साल उन्नीस मार्च रत ना बत्रीस मिनिटे शहर तुम जन्मभूमि और जन्मभूमि पर ही जे स्थान परम ममत कोले तुले शहर यलकता आंतरिकता छाड़ा शहर मूल नारी के छोआ जाए ना कलकार प्रति तुम भलोबासा आंतरिक हक आशीर्वाद सह बाबा I've inherited my love for writing from my parents especially my mother because I have fond remembrances of how she would snatch some time out of her busy life as a homemaker and grab a copy and just jot down whatever came to her mind my first exposure to poetry was perhaps her poems apart of course from the nursery rhymes I have always had a passion for writing and preserved it despite all the challenges of being a mother and a homemaker. I have been able to pass on my uh, love for writing to my daughter Bhijayanti. Kolkata has been a city that has seen me be born and to grow up and Delhi has been a city that has seen me mature that has seen me be on my own away from my known territory my parents the protection that i was used to and so Delhi had witnessed me mature into a more resilient evolved and a stronger woman i would say Anybody who think of Bajanti will definitely 
think of her creativity and how articulate she is, what a cultured lady she is. I'm not going to talk about all those facets of her personality which are quite evident. I'm going to tell you a little bit about something that I know of her as a former boss. We worked together for about four years and um, at, at Sage Publications where I was vice president and she was leading a team. Uh, I mean, I must say that I was very sad that uh, she got married and went to Bahrain, although I was partly instrumental in her marrying a wonderful gentleman. Um, but what I do recall of Ajanti very much is that she was the, the stickability, the force, the glue that used to bind the team together in terms of whenever festivals used to come, whenever there were birthdays. She was the live wire, the spark that would get everybody together. And that's fundamentally what I remember about her. All the best, Ajanti, for everything in life. Hi Vaijanti, I was delighted to hear that your book of poems is soon to be released. I still remember the day you joined my team as a trainee editor. The spark and the fire in you was obvious. I was sure that your willingness to take on responsibilities and eagerness to experiment with new ideas will take you places. I wish you the very best for your journey as a poet. So interestingly, when I had to leave for Bahrain, both the cities, Kolkata and Delhi, somehow fused into one identity for me. Homeland, motherland, India. The transit to Middle East was uh, very unnerving for me. Naturally, you know, it was a different country. The climate was different. I wasn't used to the desert climate. The language, I knew nothing of the language. Initial silence of the place was jarring and it used to deafen me with some kind of loneliness. But with time, as I started to know more people, as I started to work and interact with everyone, I started to feel more and more at home in Bahrain. Bahrain, as such, has been a very, very friendly country for me and it is so for all expats. Bahrain has uh, been the place where I have also grown as a mother. So, of course, it has a very special place in my heart. And with time, Bahrain progresses. Old roads embrace the new. They miss those commuters who have long kissed them adieu. So night on night, the roads they see, the changing hands of time, the country grows, the sea recedes. Progress, sings the child. Well, motherhood to me, of course, is very special, as is to everybody else. It al always brings a sense of fulfillment, completion and uh, enrichment. But more than anything else, I think to me, motherhood was an eye-opening experience. And with every passing day, as I discovered new facets of being a mother, of growing up as a mother, of learning to hold my child and slowly let him go and grow. I also started understanding and appreciating my own mother quite a lot more than what I used to do before. I think uh, that is what motherhood does to a mother. You turn back and you realize all the things that your mother would have done for you which you would have never known or which you would have perhaps taken for granted. My son has been for me a source of sustenance, a source of hope, light, which is why I had named him Shurjo, which in Bengali means the sun, the one and only, and the source of light in my life. How is it, Shurjo? Bad. Then give it to me. <laughs> Yum. I've walked a life of thousand miles in search of truth after each dark night. My wounded soul craves not for a while to walk any more and see the light. But wait, my friend, did I just see a glitter in the eyes 
of my son of three? Oh, how celestial it was that shines so bright. Hope, love, truth and the dream of light. I can't deny the strength of those eyes that fills me with hope, makes me forget my signs. Come home to me, my dreams tonight. Together we shall wait for the morning light. If all was lost, there wouldn't be that serene smile of my son of three. One morning, when I received a photograph of the old abandoned house that my maternal grandmom used to live in, sent by a friend who was simply passing that way, it triggered in me a host of emotions, primarily nostalgia. And that is when I composed this poem within a few minutes of being stirred thus with that visual stimulus. She would stand right there at the blue door, her smile so alive even today. The window still peeks into the room that is abandoned and will stay that way. Houses have souls and memories. They stand right where they stood. People end their lives and leave, but a house doesn't. It never would. Every brick is a vivid memory of well-lived lives within the walls. Feasts and mornings, love and hate, joy and sorrow until time calls. Some leave for love and some for life. Some come back and stand afar. The house perhaps smiles back at them and says, Child, my door is still ajar. To children who still play on these steps and sunshine that peeps in through the hole, see you again when you pass by. I'll wait it out, the eternal toll. I've always found writing, especially poetry, to be very therapeutic. And uh, with poetry, you don't have an obligation to start a long work and end it up uh, over the years or months. You can just freeze your emotion or thought for that particular moment in a few words and they remain intact. Bajanti has been an active member of the second circle of the BWC's poetry group since 2012 when she participated in our annual festival. As a journalist and editor, Vajanti has worked for some of Bahrain's better known publications like Maya Deen, published under the royal patronage of His Highness Sheikh Nasir bin Hamad Al Khalifa. In addition, Sabaya magazine Bahrain This Week and the Daily Tribune's Weekend Magazine Week Ender have all benefited from Vajanti's deft guidance as an editor and supporter of local talent. It's lovely to reflect upon the uh, wonderful festival we hosted in Bahrain, these, the Colours of Life. And when I think back on the various participants and the wonderful efforts that they made to deliver their personal creations, I, uh, I think of uh, Vejianti. And in terms of her poetic delivery, there was always a lovely grace and style to her presentation. She uh, always looked wonderfully elegant. That was one particular aspect that uh, impressed her so much. So she prepared herself. Ever since I've known Vajinti, she's always had a way with words. It's She's always been able to express even the most simplest of things in a manner which makes it very exciting. Most of her writings is to me about painting a picture 
rather than just putting words on paper. And most of what I have read that she has written has always given me the feeling that you know there's a picture being painted somewhere. To a certain extent, her uh, musical abilities also help, so she's able to kind of not only get the rhyme into her poems, but there's a rhythm in most of her poems, which is quite unique. Even from a very objective point of view, she has with the unique ability of putting down words in a manner which has a very, very strong visual effect. Hi Vijanti, Ronnie Middleton from Bahrain. Just a short message to congratulate you on your upcoming book launch and to wish you all the best as you continue in your career as a writer and a poet. I recall how delighted I was when you came to interview me for the Meadeen magazine. I was impressed with your confidence, poise and ability as a young journalist who asked the right questions and transcribed the answers into an interesting and factually correct article. Well done Vijanti on all you have accomplished so far and in what I am sure will continue to be a successful career. God bless. I'd like to congratulate Vijanti Bhattacharya on the anthology of poems that she has created. Wonderful, fantastic news. I'm absolutely thrilled that she has launched a collection of poems, Mosaic Vision. I'm sure that Mosaic Vision will be a tour de force of emotions and moments encapsulated in poetic gems. I look forward to reading them all. Congratulations, Vajanti. I am so happy for you. And wish her a wonderful and great success with her new book. So well done, Vajanti. Well done. I'm also extremely happy, very excited at the prospect of a first published book, Mosaic Vision. Uh, I have been privileged to have read most of it, if not all of it. And uh, I'm quite happy that now there'll be a whole host of other readers who like poetry who will be able to read this book. And also those who are not so much into poetry can also pick this up and understand how simple words can create such rhythm. Today is a great joy for me that her first poetry book is going to be published. And my earnest prayer, prayer to Almighty that her journey be successful. I'm happy that my, my book is going to be launched. Kolkata has been the city of my birth and the city that has witnessed how I've grown over the years and how I've come back time and again to her. After the birth of my son, this is perhaps my second tryst with motherhood as I'm about to give birth to another baby and a very special one, my book. A book that has collected memories, experiences, reflections, realizations across continents and cities over the years. And now after 14 years of staying away from my own city, I'm back to share all of it with Kolkata the city of joy. This is where the journey of my life began and this is where I want the journey of my book to also begin from.
তুমি বিশে ছোমোর দেহে শানে তুমি মিলে ছোমোর গ্রানে মনে তুমার ওই শামোল বারো কোমোল মুর্তি মার মে গাথা আমার দেশের মাটি তুমার পরে ঠেকাই মাথা তোমাতে বিশ্বময় তোমাতে বিশ্বময় রাচুল পাতা ও আমার দেশের মাটি তোমার পরে থাকায় মাথা